Hello, and welcome to COP LISD. We're so glad you're here. In our district, we use one-to-one -one devices for learning. We are so excited for you to begin working with us in your classroom. Before we begin using our devices in class, one thing we need to do is talk a little bit about our rules and responsibility for use. Today, we're going to meet a friend that doesn't use his technology very well. Let's take a look. This is Technology Ted. Ted loves using technology for learning in Coppell. Let's think a minute. What is technology? How do you use your technology at home? How do you use your technology at school? Are they different? Technology at school is for learning. Your device that you got from Coppell is for school only. Now, Ted loves to use the technology, but he doesn't always make very good choices. So let's find out how we can help Technology Ted make better choices with his technology. Oh, no! Technology Ted, he's having Taco Tuesday by his computer. Oh no, sometimes he gets grease all over his hands. What do you think he should do before he uses his technology? Yes, he should wash his hands. No, Technology Ted, we don't eat by our devices. Let's see what he's up to now. Uh-oh. Technology Ted, he is giving his friend, Shivani, his password and information. Should he be sharing his personal information, like his password, with his friend? No, we want to keep our passwords private. We can share with our teacher and even our mom or dad or family but we shouldn't give our password to anyone else because they could take your password and use it in a bad way. Technology Ted, keep that information private. Speaking of private, oh no, Technology Ted is online and he is giving his address and his phone number online. When we use technology for school, we do not give any personal information out. It's very important to keep you safe while you're using your technology. Listen to your teacher and follow directions so that you can stay safe. Oh my goodness, Technology Ted looks like he's having a super fun time, but wait a minute. I notice he's watching YouTube on his school computer or iPad at home. Oh no, Technology Ted. Our school devices are only for school work. It's up to mom and dad whether you watch videos on your personal computer, but our school computers are only for the things that you're doing in class. Technology Ted's work looks exactly like Sam's. Uh-oh. Do you think he used his own brain? I don't think so. I think he stole her idea. Make sure that you use work that comes from your brain and not someone else's when you're working on schoolwork. Oh no, Technology Ted is working on a document with his class and take a look at what he is saying. He says, you are mean, I am not your friend anymore. He's saying mean things to his friends because he's mad. 
we wouldn't want to be an unkind friend in person. So when you're on your technology, need you to make good choices about how you talk to other people. Be kind online, Ted. Wait a minute, technology Ted? Oh my goodness, it's not game time. Angry Birds isn't an app we use for school. Do you have permission to download Angry Birds? You don't. <gasps> no, Technology Ted. We only download apps that the educator tells us to. No downloading apps without permission. We use an app called Manager in our district, and that helps kids only access learning apps. But that doesn't mean you have the right to download all of them. Think about what your teachers asked you to do and follow those directions. Technology Ted isn't being very responsible with his iPad. Ooh. He needs to hold his, his iPad with a hug. We don't want it to get cracked or damaged because he forgot to put his iPad away. Oh, Technology Ted, keep that device safe so that you can use it tomorrow in school. Oh no, look at what happened when Ted left his iPad on the floor. It cracked and the screen is busted. Oh no, Ted. We bet need to take better care of your iPad. Make sure that you let an adult know if you have a crack or something's not working. They can help you put a ticket in to get a technician to fix your device. So always tell a teacher when you need help. So Ted, let's review. Don't forget, we need to keep your account information private. We don't want you to share your password with anyone but someone who is a trusted adult. Remember you sign out and log off of things if you are on a shared computer and your account security is your responsibility. At school, we'll keep you safe from other things, but it's important for you to keep your information private. Let's review. Don't forget, Ted, be kind, polite, and use appropriate language. That means whatever you say or type in or do on your computer and device, is public and permanent. We wouldn't want anyone's feelings to get hurt. We never use technology to bully someone else. Don't make any changes to school technology or devices unless you have permission. We keep our pass codes the same in elementary school so that we can help manage them. We keep only the apps that are needed for class on our devices. Do not change settings on your devices. Make sure when you see an error message, you show an adult before you click. Let's be safe and do not harm the devices and computers. We never install damaging or inappropriate software and we don't unplug or break technology equipment. It's very important that you show your class your own brain. We're not going to copy someone's words. We'll only use pictures that are labeled for use by a school. And we'll always, when we get older, cite the sources that we use. Basically, Ted knows now all he has to do is follow directions at all times. He'll listen and follow directions when he uses his technology at school. He'll only do what our educators tells us to do when using technology. He's ready to use his iPad for school. Are you? We can't wait to get started.